Today we're celebrating another day of hope, getting through the coronavirus, and it's good to be together. Yes, well, we had quite a thunderstorm last night. Boy, we had one big pulse of, or, you know, thunder, and it shook the house, and somebody's car alarm outside went off. <clears throat> it was a bad storm, and, and storms make me think about Martin Luther, because uh, Martin Luther, once he was riding a horse across the field back to school when he was, uh, you know, in seminary, and uh, a bolt of lightning struck really close to him, and uh, he was really scared, and so he decided, he promised he would become a monk. Well, <laughs> so he did. Felt like you had to had to do what you promised, and he he took his faith really seriously when when he was young. I mean, he he and he felt a lot of of guilt and like he had to keep trying to be good enough. And you know, he, he lived 500 years ago, and he changed the world. He didn't mean to. He translated the Bible from Latin into the language people actually spoke, which was German. He stood up to the Pope. When the, you know the Pope wasn't like today, the Pope was teaching falsehoods about you need to pay for indulgences in order to be forgiven and go to heaven. And you know he was kind of this 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 little guy who didn't plan to do all this stuff. He was like the ant that moved the rubber tree plant. And uh, if you ask Martin Luther though about you know how do you keep your how did you keep your hope going, he would say. Um, he wasn't so interested in hope, you know, and he had to have something to keep him going because, you know, if he, if he was, uh, you know, caught by the right people, he, they were threatening to burn him at the stake, which I wouldn't like that. <laughs> no. Not fun. Mm -mm. So, so for him, though, the most important thing in the Christian walk was not that you have hope, but that you have faith. You have faith in the promise of God. And that faith is what kept him going, faith in Christ alone. So his faith was grounded in God, you know, not what he could do or anybody else, because he knew he could weather all the trials and struggles of life he could rely, if he could rely on God, and, and he could. And he particularly liked that book of Romans in the Bible. Romans 1.17 says, For in the gospel the righteousness of God is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. So it's faith from, from day one to the very end. Faith is what it's all about. Martin Luther felt like you don't live by your hope, but you live by faith. And God can give you this rock-solid faith that, that where you believe in God, that God will do what he has promised to do. And it's not faith in an easy life, uh, or, but it's faith in God, that God is with you in life and death. God loves you and forgives you, and you are right with God. You just put your faith in God, not in yourself, and you can be confident in it. So if you're a person maybe who's not a big hope person, maybe you're a little bit Eeyore, <laughs> kind of a gloomy person, that's okay, Martin Luther says, what's most important is that you have faith in Christ alone. So, uh, he had faith, trusting in God, and, and so certain that God was with him that he would risk death, death, trusting in that faith. And that's what he did. He risked death to speak the truth because he lived by faith. So, if you want hope, he would say... Look to Christ, because Christ is the hope for the hopeless world. And I think Martin Luther loved faith because faith says death and sin is not the last word. That we are people of the resurrection, and God will triumph in the end. So ever since the coronavirus came on the scene, <clears throat> people around the country have wondered, you know, why is this happening? And is God mad at us? Is God punishing us? Did we do something wrong? No, God loves you. God loves everybody. God does not go around doing evil things. 
And, and God doesn't want people to die and suffer. When you suffer, God suffers with you. And one thing I know about God, God is for you. And God wants us to be for other people too. So, that, you know, Martin Luther started his faith journey as a monk feeling a lot of guilt. You know, God's looking down from heaven. He sees all the, the good things I do. And Martin was trying. He was praying all the time and going on pilgrimages and confessing his sins a lot. And he thought, God's also holding all the bad things I do against me. Yet he had a difficult relationship with God. But as he studied the Bible, and particularly Romans, he realized God was not against him. God was for him. And he was really happy when he thought about his baptism, how God washed away his sins. He became a child of God, and God was for him. So that's what I want you to know is that God is for you. And we have come this far by faith. Let us continue trusting God who loves us and trusting that he is for us. And if you're not a naturally hopeful person, that's okay. Faith in Christ alone is all that you need. So uh, today's comment, what is, what is something that you hope for in the future? And uh, I'm hoping for the pool to be open. That's something I'm hoping for. What are you hoping for? Oh, I'm hoping for a different question. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to think about that one. All right. I don't know. Think about yeah. that. Put it in the comments. Uh-huh. So let us know what you are hoping for. Our God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for for your constant love, your steadfast love. We thank you for for your gift of, of grace. I mean, that, that forgiveness of sins. Let us today put our faith in you. Let, let us just trust that, that you're true and you're just and you're good and you're loving. We'll hope in that. Amen. Amen. All right. Have a great day and we'll see you. And hopefully Sunday, and then we'll see you next Tuesday again for Morning Devotions for Hope. Have a goodbye.